Hello everyone and welcome to my channel this is the 82nd part of what if Deku was Sanji's reincarnation, my heroes reborn, the author of this great fan if I see is M. Ivoli links to them and original story in the description. Chapter 82, The Pieces Are All Set Up The five teens were looking around the room they were in while shaking off the remaining effects of the sleeping gas quirk. We're in a room with new windows or doors. Said Psycho. But like how did we get in here? Asked Kami. The other four stared at her. We got warped in. Pointed out Shindo with a sweat drop. Oh yeah. Said Kami. Everyone else just sweat dropped. Still we have a chilling challenge. Said Fujio. To find out a way out. Aiko suddenly yelled. Everyone jumped at that his. However Izuku couldn't help but to feel relief. Aiko, you're still with me? Asked Izuku. Yeah. They didn't take me away from you thankfully. Don't know if they knew about me or the transceiver but it's a good thing they didn't. Thanks to Aizawa performing the emergency procedure I was already activated. Said Aiko, Hibiki, and All Might are already on the way here. Izuku breathed a sigh of relief then noticed the confused looks on the faces of his fellow hostages. This is Aiko, she's an AI created by Orchestra Rave who sometimes helps me. Said Izuku. Fujio nodded knowing some of the details about Hibiki while the other three were confused. Figures that UA has access to such technology. Muttered Shindo. That is totes awesome. Said Kami. It's not because I'm a student of UA that I have access to her. Said Izuku. Yeah it's a long story involving a villain's quirk, he'll probably explain later. Said Aiko, also just to clear things up. My name is really AIKO which stands for Artificial Intelligence Knows Objectively. Izuku knew by this point he couldn't stop someone from asking the question. Objectively what? Asked Psycho. That's I'm better than you. Said Aiko as she played the repeating horn sound effect. The other four just sweat dopped. Yeah she does this a lot. Said Izuku with a sweat drop. Okay, first things, first. Said Aiko, do you want some possible stressful news now or later, because only you would understand it as it involves Priestess. I know who Priestess is. Said Fujio. Okay you and the other guy would understand it. Said Aiko. Tell me later. Said Izuku. All right then. Said Aiko, you should be focusing on other things. Also your class is helping out with another group of Nomu, and Katsuki is using them to hammer out his rage. Is it because I got kidnapped? Asked Izuku. You getting kidnapped and what happened with Priestess? Said Aiko. Wait. I changed my mind, what happened with Priestess? Asked Izuku. Well I have bad news, good news, and I don't know if good or bad news, said Aiko, the bad news, UA's big three got hit by her quirk. Izuku paling knowing they were three strongest students in his school. So is just going to ignore us? Asked Shindo with a sweat drop. Look what she's telling him important to him. Said Fujio, so? The good news, two of them fought back. And the third didn't but he's closer to Aoi if you catch my drift. Said Aiko, in fact Aoi and Hiroki are both making sure they're okay and we're the ones who found them and since they're not attacking them it means they should remain heroes. Izuku nodded relived but there was the third type of news. So? Said Izuku. One of them is from the pirate world. Said Aiko. Are you sure? Asked Izuku. He's been using hockey and priestess outright said he had a devil fruit in his past life, so? Said Aiko. Izuki sighed at this, there were a lot of people in his past life that could use both and would act like a hero, he doubted it was an enemy pirate, but marines that weren't secretly on their side were a possibility. Look this is exactly why I didn't think you needed to know. Because you guys need to break out of here. Said Aiko. So since the UA student isn't taking up all the attention. Said Shindo. I think if we want to get out of here we need to tell each other our quirks. Said Izuku. Is that a good idea? 
asked Shindo. Even if there were villain watching us we still need to be a good team even if it's just the basics, said Fujio. Unfortunately they are right in this, sighed Psycho. That was when Kami breathed out a misty that turned to butterflies. My quirk lets me create illusions. She explained, though it doesn't last forever. Oh cool. That's very useful. Said Izuku. All right my turn. Said Fujio. He touched the back of his hand, a small violet knife was pulled from his violet skin and a small black spot appeared where the knife came from. Mine lets me create constructs by stealing violet light from an object. The object loses its color temporally but it will regain its color eventually. It works best with colors with strong violet hues, though I can work with white, shades of gray and non-violet pastels but it's far more difficult. So you have purple powers cool. Said Kami. That was when Fujio became angry. It's not purple. Yelled Fujio, purple and violet are two different colors. They look similar but they aren't the same color. Purple is in fact a mix of two colors on opposite ends of the visible spectrum. Violet however is part of the visible spectrum. Though there are shades of purple that are also shades of violet they are two distinctly different colors and shouldn't be treated as such. Izuku and Shindo weren't sure how to react, Psycho was nodding having known this information. Oh cool I learned something new. Said Kami. Sorry, sorry. Said Fujio calming down, it's that I hate when people mix the two up. When it comes with your quirk it's fine. Said Izuku. Yeah. Said Shindo. I shouldn't really spread it around but I should explain to help us escape. Said Psycho, my quirk temporally increased my IQ whenever I drink tea. That's fine and all but it doesn't help if you don't have tea on you. Said Aiko. Oh don't worry. Said Psycho, she pulled out a thermos from somewhere, I always carry tea on me in case of extreme emergencies. Okay. I'm taking that back. Said Aiko. I guess we're going to save Midoriya's for last. Said Shindo. I have a lot of talk about. Said Izuku. My quirk lets me create vibrations. Said Shindo, by touching something I'm able to use my body to channel vibrations. He touched his hand DS on the ground for a small demonstration causing small vibration just for show. They all looked at Izuku. Well my quirk is simple. I have super strength. Said Izuku. Bullshit. Yelled Shindo. We've all the seen the sports festival. Said Psycho. Well my abilities are a bit more complicated. Said Izuku, besides. Fujio Niji. Said Fujio. Niji. Said Izuku who then shuddered, sorry can I call you Fujio? My brother in my past life was named Niji and we hated each other. Hey it's fine. Said Fujio. Anyways as Fujio knows, there's a villain called Priestess have any of you ever heard of her? Asked Izuku. Shindo shook his head no. No I haven't. Said Kami. I've heard rumors, about a villain whose quirk that made hundreds of heroes quit but not all of her victims quit being heroes. Said Psycho. Her quirk lets people remember their past lives. Said Izuku, and a lot of my abilities come from my past life. What? Asked Shindo when Psycho confused. Awesome. Said Fujio who figured he just a weird Kyrick, not that his abilities came from his past life. Oh that's totes amazing. Said Kami. He lit his leg on fire. In my past life I learned how to create fire by use of friction. Said Izuku. That makes no sense. Said Psycho. I know, the world of my past life made no sense. Said Izuku. Trust me you don't want to hear the stuff I've heard. Said Aiko, it is insane. Also an ability that people learned in my past life called hockey. Said Izuku, and I can use all three types. Wait since when? Said Aiko, because you've been pretty adamant that you can only two of the three. I'll explain later. 
said Izuka knowing he would probably have to tell Katsuki as well. If his fellow hockey user didn't already put together the pieces that is. Anyways it's an ability that harnesses will power with different abilities. Said Izuku, he then showed of armament hockey on his leg, I can also use it to sense people and predict movements. Also I have other moves, like Skywalk that lets me kick the air and make it seem like I'm flying. So that explains why no one can figure are your quirk. Said Kami. Yeah, my quirk is pretty basic, just my past life abilities make it weird. Said Izuku. And you too just buy this. Said Shindo. Look I don't care if it's true or not, it just sounds awesome. Said Kami. Hey my uncle used to be a hero then he got hit by priestess quirk. Said Fujio, and I also know that a guy my uncle knows and is part of his support group was a farmer from a magical fantasy world, not a guy who starts out on a farm and then goes on an adventure or a farmer who was a badass and stood up to evil. Just a straight up farmer who just didn't want to go adventures. There's like 20 guys who had passed lives like that. Said Aiko, just because you were from a magical fantasy world, doesn't mean you're like Momo. Izuku nodded in agreement, of course he met all sorts of fishermen, fishermen and normal people in his past life, not everyone could be a farmer, marine or some kind of warrior. What were you in your past life? Asked Fujio. I was a pirate, not an evil pirate, but one that went on adventures. Said Izuku. Oh like the kind in romance and novels. Said Kami. Not like that. Said Izuku blushing bright red. Come on Izuku, now's not the time. Said Aiko. Look all this past life talk is interesting but we really should break out. Said Shindo. All right. Said Psycho holding up her thermos. Oh here's some more info I should give you, we're dealing with two kinds of warp quirks, so just be aware of that. Said Aiko. That warper from the USJ. Said Izuku. Yeah him, he was here when you all passed out. Said Aiko, so just be aware there might not be people outside, at the moment, but there could be more at the drop of a hat. I'll keep that in mind. Said Psycho. She poured the tea into her cup and closed her eyes. In her mind she saw many different, equalization. Medaria. Does your ability work through walls? Asked Psycho. Izuku nodded. We're in the clear. Said Izuku. For now. Said Aiko. What's your name again, the one with vibration? Said Psycho. You Shindo. Said Shindo. Is it possible to check the walls? Said Psycho. He knocked on the walls. They're pretty thin. Said Shindo, so it should be easy. He placed his hands on the wall which began to shake and the wall quickly broke down. And we didn't help get out of here. Said Kami. Well it happens. Said Fujio. Meanwhile in the bar. Priestess was still drinking her troubles away. That was when there was a knock on the door. Pizza delivery. Said a voice. Priestess blinked and realized something. Oh God. Did I order pizza without realizing it, again? She asked. She checked her phone and found no outgoing calls. That was when the police burst in. Hands in the air. Yelled one of the police officers. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Yelled priestess. She then vomited. Thanks to, to this the police officers jumped back. Are you okay? Asked one of the police officer. Suddenly priestess suddenly disappeared. The police officers jumped in shock as they saw that ground had one of Kurojiri's warp gates. Don't let it close. Yelled one of the officers. However the warp gate closed before they could do anything. Back with the kidnapped students. They all got to the other side of the wall and the found the room was in a warehouse of some kind. They looked around. Looks like we're bring watched said Shindo looking at a security camera. Can't say I'm surprised. Said Aiko. That was when there was a loud crash coming from a wall. 
They turned to where the crash came from. Shindo stepped forward ready to fight with, with Fujio getting into position to create a weapon. However since Izuku still had his hockey going. Wait. Said Izuku. He's right. Said Aiko. The wall broke up and two figures stepped into the warehouse. Don't worry. Because we are here. Said person who broke through the wall who of course was All Might. There was a door. Said Hibiki who was with him, however his tone seemed strange for some reason. Hibiki are you okay? Asked Izuku noticing the tone. He's fine, he's just not trying not to squeeze since All Might said the thing and it wasn't about a school thing. Said Aiko. Aiko. Scolded Hibiki. You know this is totally anticlimactic. Said Kami. That was when suddenly the Grey Goo appeared all throughout the air. And suddenly the horde of Nomu appeared. Normally I'd say something about tempting fate, but we already established that we're being watched so I'd call it a wash. Said Aiko. Meanwhile with the three members of Class 1A fighting the Nomu, Katsuki just defeated three of them. Good news. Bad news. Then interesting yet good news. Said Aiko. What? Asked Katsuki. All Might and Hibiki just arrived where they were taken. Said Aiko, the bad news is that a bunch more Nomu appeared. Whatever. Snorted Katsuki, what's the good but interesting? Izuku was now claiming he has all three versions of hockey. Said Aiko. About damn time he realized it. Said Katsuki. Uh, what? Said Aiko. I'm not going to fucking explain it now. Said Katsuki cutting down another Nomu. Huh, interesting. Said Aiko. Elsewhere Priestess was on ground crying. The other members of the League of Villains watched her. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. Cried Priestess. You shouldn't blame yourself. Said Kirojiri. It's not your fault they found the bar. Said Magna. It could have been any one of us. Said Jack Attack. Oh we're not that unconscious. Said twice then he said I think it was Dobby. Everyone looked at. Dobby. Yeah, he's probably. Said Spinner. If a zombie looking guy is look walking around like you do in public. Said Jack Attack. It doesn't matter, we lost our base. Muttered Shigaraki scratching his neck. All is not lost yet. Said a certain voice, after all our bait did work. They looked at a screen that showed the group fighting the Nomus. Back in the warehouse, everyone got ready. Hey, can you hold this for me? Said Izuku giving Psycho his transceiver. All right. Said Psycho getting why. You think we can work together? Asked Aiko. I believe so. Said Psycho. The others got ready to fight. I don't think they're going to let go easily, said Shindo. No they won't. Said All Might, but we need to give him a hell of a fight. And so they knew they had to take care of the Nomu. However both All Might and Habiki had a feeling that things were going to get worse before they got better, even if the five teens were alright. After all they were just bait to lure in All Might. That will be it for this part. I hope everyone enjoyed if you did please leave a like and comment if you want part 83. If you want to hear more from me subscribe I hope to see you all in the next one.